Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 109 solution. So today we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video, which was asked in the placement exam. It's like a simple mathematical solving sum. So we will be seeing those questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also last videos in our channel, if you see means we have posted about the TCS of campus recruitment, Zoho of campus, Revature companies of campus recruitment. If you have not watch that videos and want to apply for those companies means you can watch that video and apply for that company so let's get into today's topic so the first question is a man has some hens and cows if the number of heads be 48 and the number of feet equals 140 then the number of hens will be so what they are saying is a man having some hens and cows number of heads will be 48 number of feet will be 140 we have to find the number of hens so this can be solved in a equation form method uh, both hens and cows uh, value they have given that is the number of heads count be 48 heads count be 48 means hen will have one head and cow will have one head so the total number of hens and cows will be 48 number of feet they have given us 140 so hen will have two legs cow will have four legs so if you add all those things 140 legs will be there so we have to convert this as an equation so how can we convert this as an equation let x be the number of hens and y be the number of cows so x plus 8 is going to be 48 because the total count will be 48 and hen will have 2 legs so 2x plus cow will have 4 legs 4y equal to 140 so solving these two equation you will get the x and y value as 26 and 22 they are asking us to find the number of hens so number of hens is going to be the x value so 26 is the correct answer for the first question and the second question is 469 plus 174 the whole square minus 469 minus 174 the whole square divided by 469 into 174 is going to be what they are asking so this can be easily solved if you know or aware of the formulas like a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square divided by a b so this is the expression they have given in the particular question so a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square divided by a into b so if you solve this particular equation means you will get the answer as 4 a b divided by a b a and b and a b will be getting cancelled so the remaining value will be 4 so directly you can mark the answer as option b so for the second question option b is the correct answer and the last question is david gets on the elevator at the 11th floor of a building and rides up at the rate of 57 floors per minute so david is getting on an elevator on the 11th floor and he is going up that lift is going at the rate of 57 floors per minute at the same time albert gets on an elevator at the 51st floor of the same building and writes down at the rate of 63 floors per minute so albert is getting on to the uh, elevator at 51st floor and he is going down at the speed of 63 floors per minute if they continue traveling at these rates then at which floor will their paths cross so one is going up and one is going down so at what time or what position they will meet each other they are asking so this also will be an equation like method only so how we are going to solve suppose their paths cross after x means we don't know how many uh, minutes after they are going to cross each other so we are going to take it as x so david is getting on the 11th floor and that lift is going upwards to at the rate of 57x so 11 plus 57x and albert is going down from the 51st floor at the rate of 63 uh, floors per minute so 11 plus 57x is going to be the david value that is going to equal to the albert value 51 minus 63x so if you calculate means the x value is going to be 1 by 3 that is going to be the minutes after 1 by 3 minutes they will cross each other so number of floors covered by david in 1 by 3 minutes so how many floors david has covered we are going to solve so that is 1 by 3 into why this 57 has came because in one minute it will cross uh, 57 floors per minute so 1 by 3 into 57 if you do means in 1 by 3 minute how many floors he has crossed that is 19 floors so starting position will be 11 plus 19 you have to add that is going to be 30th floor so option c is the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel and not have subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care